everyone. Today I want to talk to you briefly about one critical part of the endotracheal tube that's often overlooked, and that is this little guy right here, the pilot balloon. Now, all cuffed tubes have a pilot balloon here, and as you can see, this one's partially inflated, and when you press it, you can see I can feel that there's air inside the cuff that is down here. If there were no air in here, this would be completely flat. The most important thing to know about this device, though, is that this is a lure lock, and a lure lock means that there is a small seal here, and when there's nothing attached to the lure lock, it means that that seal is automatically closed. However, if I attach a 10cc syringe to it so that I can inflate the cuff or remove air from the cuff, that seal is open. Now, for beginners, what happens often, I see, is that you intubate the patient, you've got your 10cc syringe attached, and what happens is, is that you leave that 10cc syringe on, what's gonna happen is all that air that you just put into the endotracheal tube's cuff is gonna come right back out. So let me demonstrate how that happens, right? We just attach this, right, like a regular lure lock. I'm going to press the plunger and add about six or seven more cc's of air, and then if I leave it in, see that valve is still open, and in fact, you can just see that the plunger is just going right back up, and all that air that I just put in is coming out. So, remember, once you've attached the 10cc syringe to the lure lock and the pilot balloon cuff here, you're just going to go ahead and insert the air, and then immediately twist it and remove it. Now you can squeeze this little ball here and see that there's air in here and know that it, there isn't a, a tear or a leak in the cuff itself. You know that all the air you put in there is staying in there and it's not going to come back out because this is still connected. All right, you know that's an often overlooked important piece of information that I have to say I'm, as an educator I'm often guilty and neglect explaining that to beginners uh, because I get so excited and want to move on to the video laryng laryngoscope and the procedure itself. I forget that sometimes these little pieces of information are incredibly important and so I'm here to correct my mistake today. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the other side of this video.